Hello, in this video from Bailey Pottery, we'll show you how to create wheel thrown chip and dip platters. This is a one piece form that has multiple compartments that make arranging food fun and beautiful. So whether you're getting holiday ready or game day ready, you'll score points for presentation using a homemade chip and dip platter. At Bailey, we carry all the supplies, tools, and equipment that you need to create this project and many more. Find the links to the tools in this video on our blog. We begin by centering approximately six pounds of standards number 240 white clay. This very smooth plastic throwing body has a nice white color that keeps glazes bright. We're throwing on top of the tabletop speedball artista pottery wheel on top of a removable masonite throwing bat. Once we've centered our clay into a low domed shape, it's time to open the form. Let's keep in mind that we're essentially creating a bowl within a bowl. We'll start in the middle. Using steady fingers, we push down into the clay to open the inside of the dip bowl. We go all the way down to the floor, leaving about a quarter inch in the base. We then push down to create the exterior of the dip bowl. We need a donut shaped ring of clay from which we will shape our inside bowl. We follow the curve to the floor of the outside bowl. Again, we're pushing down as we move the clay outward and establish that one quarter inch base thickness. The bulk of the clay moves into our fingertips as we glide it into a second donut shaped ring. Now that we've put the clay where it needs to go, we can pull walls. In our inside bowl, we've already begun to establish the interior curve. We pinch the clay from the inside and the outside and drive the walls upward. As we create the bowl walls, we keep steady pressure and then release the pressure as we near the top edge. After we pull the walls, we compress the rim to keep it nice and level. We repeat the act of pulling walls on the outer bowl form. We keep the rim nice and compressed and then we pinch the clay upward and outward to create the walls of the outer bowl. We maintain steady pressure and then again we release that pressure as we near the top edge. Here we are putting the finishing touches on our chip and dip platter. We want to smooth and compress the skin of the clay. As the form grows in size, the wheel should be slowed down for better control. On a wider shape like a platter, the rim travels faster and therefore is more affected by centrifugal force. We are smoothing the clay with a Cheryl Mud Tools rib designed by potter Michael Cheryl. These colorful ribs are available in varying sizes, shapes, and degrees of flexibility. We are done throwing, we cut our piece off of the bat using a wire tool. We allow our platter to dry to a leather hard state of firmness before trimming a foot ring. When the piece is ready to be trimmed, we remove the splash guard on the wheel and center the upturned platter. We fix the bowl in place using three coils of plastic clay. Then we use a trimming tool to trim the clay from the outside edge of the base. The idea is to remove excess clay and to define the exterior of the pot. The final trimming is made inside the foot ring. We allow the piece to reach a bone dry state and then do our initial bisque firing to Kono 4. After unloading our kiln, we clean the surface of the bisqueware with a damp sponge to ensure that the piece is free from dust. We then apply wax resist to the foot ring before applying our glaze. For this platter, we selected Amico's Dinnerware Safe Sky Celadon Glaze. Amico's Celadon Glazes are transparent gloss glazes that are formulated to be 100% mixable with each other, are transparent colors that darken where thick and appear lighter when thin to highlight surface texture and to bring out the color of the clay underneath. It's recommended to apply two to three coats of this glaze prior to firing. The first coat of glaze sticks to the bisqueware, but the second and third glide on more easily. 
We actually find that you can get smooth, even coats of glaze if you apply each coat without waiting for the previous to dry fully. A banding wheel comes in handy while glazing. It holds the form and with a gentle push from one hand, rotates the platter so we can easily access the entire interior with our brush. Once the glaze on the inside is dry, we can flip the platter and apply glaze to the outside. We then fired our platter to cone five in our reliable seven cubic foot Bailey top loading electric kiln. Upon unloading, this chip and dip is ready to party. It's a simple shape that is sure to inspire creativity. And speaking of creativity, at Bailey Pottery, we've got the glazes, tools, and technical know-how to help you bring your ideas to life. Thanks for watching, and remember, we're here for you.